This is page two of lesson 13 homework, module seven of grade two. Really have to draw pictures for these, especially for word problems are the W. We're gonna draw a picture of the information first. Um, that's the drawing and then we'll figure out what equations we need to write and how to solve it as we go. Um, on, first we gotta read it, R for read. Monique saved two $10 bills, four $5 bills, and 15 $1 bills. Harry saved $16 more than Monique. How much money does Harry have saved? Oh, so what do we have here? We have Harry and we have Monique. And we know Monique saved a bunch of money. And that's just a bunch of stuff. I'm not even going to add that up yet. <laughs> it's just a bunch of stuff. Uh, the Harry saved $16 more, and how much money does Harry have? So we got we can make a tape diagram or a number bond out of this. So uh, I'm going to do a I'm going to use a tape diagram. So Harry has saved more. So Harry has more. So he's going to have a longer piece of tape. H. And Monique is going to have a smaller piece of tape because Harry has more. All right, so what did Monique save? Two tens. I'm going to just make them part of her tape here. There's a ten, and there's a ten. Four five dollar bills. There's a one, two, three. Four, four fives, and 15 ones. I'm not going to draw 15 ones. I'm just going to make this a 15. Uh, and Harry has 16 more. So, like, that's the same. So, this would be 16 more. And I know that that would be the 16 more, right? That's the more. So, I have to figure out. What this is, and then add it to the 16 more, and I'll have it figured out how much Harry has saved. So let's see, this is 10, 20. 30, 40, 40, and 15 is 55, and these are all dollars, right? $55, and that's $16 more, so I have to figure out 55 plus 16 is going to equal this much plus the 16 more. Or you, or you can also think of it as this is six, the 16 more. All right, 55. That's 55, just like Monique's 55. That's the 16 more. That's going to be, you can look at that. That's the 10s. That's 60. And 60 by that's 11. So 60 and 11 is 71. Harry. saved $71 dollars goes on that side right and that's more than Monique's 55 so that makes sense and let me get that dot out of there I should have had that all right Ryan went shopping with three $20 bills three $10 bills one $5 bill and nine one dollar bills he spent so he has a bunch of money he spent fifty nine dollars on a video game how much money does he have left so he has money he spends money and he has money left so we just we could make a number bond for this one if we wanted just a different way to do it uh he went and you need some kind of a picture just to show the information 
All right, so we know that he, this is how much money he has. This is how much money he has. All right. This is how much he spent. And this is what he has left. Now we can figure this. This is what we have to solve for. This is how much he has left. Uh, how much he has, we have to figure out what this is. Three, this is three twenties. You could draw it and count it. Three twenties, three tens. Five and nine ones. I'm not going to draw the nine ones. I'm just going to I'm just going to make a box here and say nine more. Right. So let's see how much money does he have right here. We can just count it. Uh, Twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, uh, ninety-five. 95 plus 9 more, that's 104 dollars. Uh, so now we have to figure out 104 minus 59. So equals how much? Um, could solve this using vertical subtraction. This is a good candidate for using a tape diagram method, right? Because that you just add one to both and you'd have 105 minus 60 and you could maybe do that in your head. But here we have, uh, we don't have enough ones and we don't have any, we don't have any tens at all to start with. So we're going to have to break up that hundred, which gives us 10. And then we have to break up one of those. There's nine, and then now we have 14 ones for that 10. So 14 minus nine is five, nine minus five is four, and the 100 we don't have anymore. So uh, $45 here. These are all dollars. Don't forget that we're not dealing in cents anymore. Like the first page, these are dollars. So Ryan. Has forty-five dollars left, and, and one of the ways you can do these is just draw the money and keep drawing money until you have your total, what you need to have, or cross draw the money and cross out the money. And uh, let's see if maybe. And sometimes it's a lot easier to do that way. And uh, here's an example of it. Heather has had ten, three ten dollar bills and four five dollar bills left after buying a new pair of sneakers for twenty nine dollars how much money did she have before buying the sneakers so she has what did she have she has money left so she's buying something so uh, how much money did she have before buying the sneakers? So she would have had more money before she bought the speak before she bought the sneakers. So that's going to be the total is how much money she had before because that's the sneakers were twenty nine dollars, and this is uh, how much she had left, and we need to know how much she had before. So let's see, we could just say, we could just draw whatever she, what she had left is all of this right here. We could just draw it and then uh, add the 29 to it and then we'd have that. We'd have the total uh, and we could just count it all. So here's just a way you could do it just if you're just drawing all the dollar bills or all the money. Uh, she had three tens. And you could do all these just drawing the bills and or, or the coins. 
and counting or crossing out. Three tens, four fives. After buying a new pair of sneakers for 29. So let's say the sneakers are 29. That's 29 could be two tens for 20. And then we need nine more. We could have a five and four ones to make a nine. And then we could just count it all. And then well, we don't even have to figure out how much this is. We can just count it all and save ourselves a step in the in the, the two-step problem and do it in one step. Now just we just count our picture. 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 79 dollars. And that way we don't even have to figure out how much this stuff was that she had left. We don't have to, we can just, we just counted our answer. So, uh, she had... Seventy nine dollars.